Welcome to another exciting episode of The Million Dollar Peddler. I'm uh, Paper Joy, and we are off this beautiful day. A little bit of wind, but pretty nice day. We're going to go hit the East Aurora Flea Market. It's kind of a small flea market. Went the last couple of years. Uh, it's been rainy and drizzly both times we went, so not holding out a lot of hope. It is a nice day today. Maybe there are more vendors. But the nice thing about flea markets is all it takes is one person, and you can get a really good buy. And then after that, we're going off to the Buffalo Chicken Wing Festival. We're going to show you lots of great things from there as well. So definitely, if you're in the Buffalo area, uh, Labor Day weekend, this is, I don't know, 20th year or something like that, they've had this great, uh, this great event. It's definitely worthwhile coming to. You can go out and build a uh, stadium field and everything as well. Plus, we can look at the uh, new stadium renovations going on as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a fun video. Hopefully, we got some great haul for you, but even if not, it's worth sticking around just to see what the Chicken Wing Festival is all about. I can't wait. And here we are. We actually changed things up a little bit, as I'll tell you at the end. Uh, we went to Clarence Flea Market. Uh, we actually were going to be driving right, right near Clarence to get to East Aurora. And I said, let's check this out over here. Used to be a fantastic flea market. Definitely used to be worth it. Um, now it's not too bad. This was actually better than it's been recently. Um, this all used to be, or most of this used to be open, and they used to have a lot of the uh, outdoor vendors. They do have a little area, as you can see ahead there on the left, with some outdoor vendors. Um, but what they did is they put up all these garages and units that people will rent out, and then they'll open them up and bring their stuff out. Um, problem with that is these are people that are picked every single week, and they tend to be more of the professional resellers. Uh, as opposed to the people that just kind of drop on by for one week just to get rid of stuff. Um, so it tends to be a little higher priced and a little more picked through than it used to be. Um, people are out there, though, for the day, windy day. They got their wagons. And there's just, uh, uh, what do I want to call them, garage, I guess. Garage after garage filled with stuff, lots and lots of stuff. Um, but the first Sunday of every month, during the season is what they call a garage sale Sunday. And that does get a lot more vendors out than the usual ones do. Um, so those are definitely the ones that you want to go to. So if you find yourself anywhere near Batavia, New York, Buffalo, Rochester, uh, and it's the first Sunday of the month on a nice day, do get out there. A little bit of a warning though, it is a early flea market. Um, and by that, I mean, we actually saw people shutting down. It was like 1030 in the morning and people were shutting down. You do have flea markets that go late. This is an early one. Uh, people get out there and a lot of them do just shut down and go on their way for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, you just see lots and lots of different things throughout uh, there. And again, these people, they just, they literally open up the front of their uh, unit and put the stuff out. And back over there, as you can see, is the various, some of the various people set up outside. One of the problems, you see all the cars you've got parking right around. So literally cars will be driving through uh, right in the middle of the, uh, you know, where people are trying to walk. So that can be a little bit dangerous. I did almost see a couple of accidents uh, because people don't exactly know how to drive through. But did, did well enough at this. You'll see at the end. Uh, please stick around at the end. We've also got Chicken Wing Fest, uh, Festival footage coming right up. Um, and again, more and more stuff. Was kind of limited on time as well, so I didn't check everything out, but fair amount of things we did check out as well. Yep, you see the parking right up close. Also, it does cost a dollar to park, just to let you know that as well. It does cost a dollar to park. Um, no big deal. Take it off your taxes. But there are people that park along the street and walk. I'm laughing because I'm thinking to myself, saving a dollar and breaking my back by carrying 40 pounds of magazines, I'll spend the dollar. Um, money well spent as far as that goes <laughs> but more and more like i said more and more things more and more bins just a lot a lot of stuff all throughout um so definitely up oh, there he is with all his treasures right there look at that the treasures found by paper guy and thank you mrs paper guy for doing the camera work on this wonderful wonderful camera work as always definitely do enjoy it though she's gonna give you one last look at the flea market we're walking back to the car and that right there uh, over on the right-hand side, you saw, saw those cranes. That was New Bill Stadium. Uh, the construction, my tax dollars are nice enough to fund. Whole other story. Uh, that was the new stadium. We're actually having this over here at the old stadium. We are um, heading on into the Chicken Wing Festival. And uh, 
A lot, a lot of vendors. Nice, nice day. A little bit windy still. Funny thing was, it was supposed to be uh, really, really nice all day. Uh, started raining at some point. After, right after we had left, it actually did start raining and coming down real, real hard. So um, I was going to say not a cloud in the sky, but there are definitely clouds, but they didn't look... They didn't look too threatening. That was really, really neat, that little chicken right over there. I thought that was a, a neat little thing to draw people in. Um, but lots and lots of people out here. And one of the uh, draws of this is you can actually go down on the stadium as well. So you see some nice lines of people there. Uh, $1.50 a wing is what it ends up costing as well, plus an uh, entry fee to the um, to the entire event. But that's really not too bad. I did laugh about that one right there. You saw the chicken walking ahead over there. I wanted to show you some of the other uh, places as well. But watching him walk, look at that. He's trying to stay in that costume and walking. And, whoa, wasn't having the best of luck at that whatsoever. But uh, did laugh. And here we are heading on down onto Bill's Stadium. Um, they used to have vendors all along. Now they took the vendors that were on the stadium and they moved them uh, to a different section on the concourse. So now it's just people heading on down. Uh, you can walk on down. You got the scoreboards going, talking all about the Chicken Wing Festival and everything as well. Um, they were very, very adamant. You weren't allowed to bring any kind of drink at all on there. Oh, there he is. He's wide open. What a catch. Oh, first down. Why did he stop running? That's my question, but he's pretty happy about that first down, uh, celebrating that as well. So a lot of fun, a lot of fun being there on the uh on the stadium, if you've never been on an NFL stadium, it's kind of kind of amazing to sit there and look at. And that would be a random neighborhood kid right there. Um, the Buffalo News and more. And Mrs. Paper Guy. Yeah, all happy as well. So good fun family outing over here. Uh, definitely do check, and wing, uh, check, and wing, uh, check the Chicken Wing Festival. Easy for me to say. Uh, it's always Labor Day weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So come on by and take a look at the treasures that I picked up as well. All right, and we are back home now. We ended up uh, doing a little bit different. We were going to go to East Aurora. Actually, on the way there, I realized we were nearly passing by Clarence, which is a better flea market. So we ended up going out to Clarence. Um, you definitely, if you do go to Clarence, you want to go the first weekend of the month. That's what they call garage sale weekend. You'll see at the end of the video... Uh, a bunch of coverage of the flea market itself, as well as the Chicken Wing Festival. I tell you, I am full. It was good, good Chicken Wing Festival. We'll talk about it a little more later on. I even saw a fight, unbelievable. A patron got in a fight with a guy uh, directing traffic. A uh, random neighborhood kid actually ran out to stop the fight. Uh, shout out to him. I would have done it, but I've got this trick knee and everything. Um, but anyway, I uh, did end up picking up a bunch of stuff. Spent $87 over at Clarence, plus a dollar for parking. And we'll show you what we got here real quick. Um, have sold these. Always pick these up if you can. Annual reports. People will pay $15 to $20 a piece for these. Annual reports of trains. They love trains. This is 1950s, I believe. Um, oh, 1961. Uh, you can get them all the way back into the 20s and 30s. Uh, people do love them, do sell these over here so to pick it up for that price good deal picked up this magazine over here i thought it was interesting for a dollar jukebox stars magazine october 1959 uh kooky kooky lend me your comb elvis presley fabian and more uh nice little magazine here i've never actually seen this title before made a couple of bucks for this over here pacific stars and stripes do pick these up when you do see them out there uh these were issued out to uh soldiers uh, soldiers, sailors, all that. Military. So it's a military newspaper. I'd pay $2 for something like this. I'll sell it for $15, $20, $25, something like that. Person had these for $2 each. I've actually had these before and sold them. Uh, and they sell very quickly. Buffalo Fan Magazine. They're all about the Sabres. They're all about the Buffalo Braves, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, nice magazines over here. And again, I've sold these exact copies before. I know that one there I know I've had, that one there I know I've had. And they go for $15 to $20 a piece. To pay $2 for a fast sale, I'm not going to pass that up. Always look for magazines like this, Baking Industry and Baker's Helpers. Um, the reason you want to buy these is because they're going to have a lot of interesting advertisements. And these advertisements only would have been available in these magazines here because this would be aimed at the baker as opposed to the general public. So they're going to be different uh, advertisements than you normally see. So you always want to pick these up. You can always ask a little extra. Probably ask $25 to $30 in this magazine, and I paid $2. Took a chance on this for a dollar. 
Little Bo Peep crayons. It is, of course, missing the crayons. A nice old crayon box. Uh, I don't know the age and I don't know how it came out. From the looks of it, given I don't see a price on it, I bet this might have come with some kind of a book or something like that. But still, I bet it's a 10 to $15 item anyway. Pay a dollar on it, I'm happy. Uh, Christmas 1941, headquarters, Fort Dix. Um, I didn't even look inside it. I've had things like this before. This is going to be um, like a program slash menu for Christmas. Uh, people love these things, 1941. Would have been right after Pearl Harbor as well. So it's probably a 20 to $25 item. We're almost done. <laughs> the camera the camera person's looking going, how much more do I have to hold this camera? Um, nine theater programs from Buffalo, $15. They gave me a little bit of a break on it. Don't even know what is in here as far as what uh, what types or anything at all like that, but I took a chance on that, which isn't much of a chance when you're paying just over a dollar a piece. Buffalo Niagara Edition Free Time Magazine. We've always talked about these. Every town had these. These were the free magazines, told you... Uh, Concerts coming in and all that sort of thing over there. Uh, you can ask $20, $25 a piece on these, even more if there's good content. Paid a dollar a piece, so happy about that. A uh, person had a big pile of magazines. I said, how much are they? So they said, you want the whole box? I said, I'm listening. They said $40, which was kind of what was in my head. I said, ah, about $30. They go, let's split it in the middle of $35. I was happy with that. Included in there, Famous Monsters of Filmland with Zachary. You definitely need to know that name, Zachary. Always will sell. Nice magazine right over here. A Howl Oween. See what they did there? Howl Oween. Really, really funny stuff. Um, so pick that up over there. Frankenstein in the back. You always want to pick up famous monsters. And the last interesting thing that was in that uh, box as well. Classic TV. No big deal. You've got you know things Andy Griffith, etc. Premier issue. We always point out that you want to buy the first issue of things, and then when you list it, you want to note that it's the first issue. So overall, spent whatever it was I said at the beginning, $70, $80, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, had a nice day over at the Chicken Wing Festival as well. Uh, do stick around, take a look at the end, at the uh, various uh, footage that I have there. Uh, do hit the like button, and we will see you next video.